Hello, hello, Dr. John Yaakov Gooderson here. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. That, of course, is Mr. Rogers. And since I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, that's where Mr. Rogers is originally from. Today we read about neighbors, because the Jewish people, as they were traveling through the desert, they would camp out. And they would camp in a certain configuration, three tribes in the north, three in the south, three in the east, three in the west, a total of 12 tribes. Where you were located, where your tribe was positioned was important. And of course, you would be in close proximity to another tribe, your neighbor. Now we all know neighbors can be fantastic and sometimes neighbors can be not so fantastic. We can get influenced by our neighbors. We get influenced by those people who are closest to us. But we do have to be careful. There are sometimes people who will influence us for, I guess, negative things. Get involved with the drug culture or with alcohol. They could be a bully, or we could sadly be involved with a very abusive neighbor or abusive relationship. So what to do? Well, the first thing to try to do is to try to bring light to the other person, try to help them to work through it light up the world rather than spending all your time trying to sweep away the darkness. But sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes when somebody is really toxic, we need to not be connected to them. We need to extricate them from our lives. As they say, when the rooster crows at the break of dawn, look out your window and I'll be gone. You're the reason I'm traveling on. Don't think twice, it's all right. So, yep, we have a choice. We can try to light up the world, and that's certainly something we should always do initially. But if that can't work, and sometimes we do need to extricate ourselves from somebody who is toxic.